Trump's attack on atheists backfires. Former President Donald Trump's disparaging comments about atheists at the Faith and Freedom Coalition Policy Conference in Washington sparked a pointed response from the Secular Coalition from America. Trump referred to atheists as part of a group of, quote, arsonists, globalists, and Marxists in a statement that has been denounced by the coalition, a network of non-religious organizations. Stephen Emmert, the executive director of the coalition, reacted to Trump's allegations, saying he has used non-religious people as a punching bag, as he has done with many groups for many years. This just seemed like an odd collection of people to go after. I mean, we are opposed to arsons as well. Emmert further pointed out the significant size of the non-religious demographic, stating non-religious people made up nearly 30% of the population. We are not exactly some fringe group, thereby arguing the folly of disregarding atheists and non-religious people as a potent electoral force. What the hell? First of all, this is silly. This is stupid. But, but one of the best things trump has ever done in my opinion i Can love I give this. you i will his full quote give me his full quote okay the conference he said together we're warriors in a righteous crusade to stop the arsonists the atheists the globalists and the marxists wait what <laughs> this makes even less sense than before Together, we're warriors the against conservative in a, movement. In a are warriors in a righteous crusade against arsonists, atheists, globalists, and Marxists. Obviously. Okay, this is beautiful. I love this. Do you know how easier my job is now? <laughs> Do you know how hard it has been for me to convince a lot of atheist Iranians that Trump is evil? Now I don't have to try so hard because Trump has taken a stronger stance against the Islamic Republic than uh, the Democrats. So a lot of Iranian atheists kind of like, well, you know, these Democrats kind of play a lovey-dovey with the Islamic, with our regime. And it's the Republicans that we need to support because they are, and they, they have a lot of, again, it's half, half. It's, I mean, it's not half, half. It's not all Iranian atheists, but it's unfortunate that many Iranian atheists or many anti-religious Iranians um, support Trump because of his stronger position against the Islamic Republic. But thank you for this gift because I'm like, I, I always tell these Iranian atheists, how could you, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, like you are pro, pro women's rights. Well, this guy, have you seen what this guy has done when it comes to women's rights in the United States? Um, his anti uh, trans positions, his anti secularism positions, his anti free speech positions, his anti, um, you know, uh, when it comes to fighting against global warming, his positions, you, you know, he, he, all of these are values that you celebrate, but at the same time, uh, you value secularism, you value women's rights, you value trans rights, you take global warming and uh, taking measures against it seriously. But then at the same time, you say like, oh, I love Trump. It's insane. It's hypocritical. But this now, this line for me is going to be now easy to throw in their faces. Like, what do you got? What do you, what do you got? What do you got now? This is makes my job a lot. This makes my job a lot easier. I thought but, yeah. it was an interesting argument because so 30 percent of Americans are non-religious. And 17% of those are independents. So you're losing out or you're demonizing, you know, a potential significant electoral force. Yeah, but here's the thing. Unfortunately, atheists in Muslim countries are, and, and around the world, unfortunately, on average, they don't take these things seriously. That's why they so it's so easy to be anti-atheist. It's so easy to be anti-atheist, and I blame most atheists. Because if you talk about Muslims like this, if you talk about, like, even Trump, who has taken positions against Muslims, won't dare say a, st a statement like this with about Muslims. Imagine that. Let me read this statement again. Where is it? Where is it? Imagine the world reaction. Scroll a little oh, bit it down. It's right there. Yes, yes. Okay. 
this is, I blame atheists for this. I blame atheists for this because I have to give credit to Christians, to Jewish people, to Muslims, to Hindus. They won't let something like this stand without a major cost. Okay. Have you guys heard how many atheists here heard Trump say this? I bet you the vast majority of you have not even heard that Trump has said something like this. But if you were a Muslim and Trump had said something like said something like this about Muslims, you would have heard it by now. If you were a Hindu and Trump had said something like this about Hindus, you would have heard it by now. L let me let me read this. Together, we're warriors in a righteous crusade to stop the Jews. Let, let that sink in. Let, Armin, I mean, please I, I, give some... Oh my God. YouTube. I'm not, YouTube, see, Armin. YouTube. Yeah, so see see how we're worried now about YouTube, okay? But if I just said oh atheist, God. we wouldn't have to worry about uh, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, we're making a point. We are... We're not anti-Jewish. We're making a point. We're and we're not anti-Semitic. But look at Su look at Susanna's reactions. I here's the thing. I'm a hypocrite, Susie. I'm a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite as well. You know why I'm a hypocrite? Because what? when I said that statement, I felt disgusted saying it. For good reason. But I didn't. I know, but I didn't feel disgusted saying that with the word atheist. I know it's for a good reason. But I felt like puking when I ser said that statement about Jewish people. But the same statement with, a, with the word atheist replacing for Jew, I didn't have the same, even though I'm an atheist, I'm not a Jew, but I, I didn't have the same gut negative reaction against atheists. L let me say the statement again with Muslims. Together, we're don't, warriors. Don't. Okay, just say it in your mind. Just say it in your mind. You're stressing me enough. Mind. You're stressing me out enough, <laughs> okay. bro. Just say, just say that word, the statement in your mind. Together, with, we are warriors in a righteous crusade to stop the momos. I don't know what to say. Okay, <laughs> imagine if if he said that would be the that would be a news bomb. That would be that would be making shockwaves for for. For months, but but not not if it's atheist. You don't say like, oh, they're so unfair to us. This is your problem. You did this. If you're an atheist and like, oh, the world is so unfair to us, that's your fault. This is, I give full credit to the Christians, to the Jews, to the Hindus, to the Muslims for standing up for each other, for having each other's backs. I, I congratulate, like I'm being serious. This is not a satire. This is something that they deserve credit for. Good job, Muslims. Atheists, you screwed up. You don't have each other's backs. Well, to be fair, when he'd said this, the Secular Coalition of America, which has our country's like most prominent secular organizations, did make a strong statement rebuking this. So I know, they did what they're supposed I know, to do. I know they did. Okay, but it's so weak in comparison. I mean, they FFRF did a good job. Like these other organizers, Secular Coalition of, for America did a good job. But why is it? But there's not that much of us. Go. You know why? Why? It's because Freedom from Religion Foundation hasn't received your donation. They're not that big. They need your help because Secular Coalition for America ha doesn't have your support. They are doing what they're supposed to do, but you're not. That's why they don't, they can't be as loud and they don't have the lobbyists. They don't have the lawyers to, to be able to make a difference. I know they're doing a good job. You, I'm not blaming them. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you for not, for not standing up for yourself. You you have nobody else to blame. You can't. You're like, oh, Trump is bad. No, you're bad. You're bad. He would have been terrified. You he, he these are politicians. They're doing what they're supposed to do. They're taking advantage of your weakness, and you're weak. You are the, you are to blame because you are the, you are weak. You are not standing up for your own rights. Trump Trump is just taking advantage of your weakness that you are to be blamed for. 
There's a reason why they're scared of making the same statements about other people. Yeah, anyways. You, I'm still stressed out over you saying that <laughs> sentence. Uh, uh, guys, I was making a point. I'm obviously against anti-Semitism, okay? I was pointing out how disgusting that statement is and why we don't get the same. To be fair, there's a history with that associated with that, and that's why we it's, it's understandable why we feel more disgust with that, okay? However, we're building up a history with atheism. We have a history with atheism as well. What am I talking about? There, atheism is punishable by like we have that as well ex-muslims ex-muslims atheists have in many parts of the world have cu currently the same experience well up until up until the the hala hala not 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 the you know anyways i'm not gonna i'm not gonna see I can't even talk about this. This is how taboo it is. Even though I'm against it, I can't talk about it because YouTube might strike us. Anyways, I have to move on. Can we move on? I'm. <laughs> yes. This has turned into. I had I have to say, YouTube algorithm Momo, nightmare. Momos and hala hala. I don't even. I, I'm. 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 I sound so ridiculous because the level of uh, again. I'm not. I, I can't even explain what I'm trying to say. That's how. That's how much our hands are tied. Against. I again. I'm against anti-Semitism. I'm just trying to point the level of disgust that we have for there, and we, I'm trying to build something similar. I'm not trying to knock one of them down. I'm trying to make. I'm not. I'm not trying to remove one taboo. I'm trying to add a taboo. I think it's obvious to people. If anybody thinks I'm saying that I'm not, it's their fault. I am pretty clear about what I'm saying. We got a super chat, so let's read this so we can move on. We got a super chat from Oxymoron saying, Reminder, your Indian news coverage is heavily biased, cartoonishly demonizing, sometimes utterly fake. I hope you do follow ups when pointed out to make AR news more responsible. Okay. Wait, wait. Your Indian news coverage are highly biased, cartoonishly demonized. Look at how stupid you are, Oxymoron. Um, I, we covered something that just happened. It happened. Uh, you are highly biased. We cover religiously um, nonsensical and evil stuff that happens around the world. And you find one event that actually happened in India that we report on biased. Even though we're covering multiple countries, multiple countries with multiple religions, nonsensical stuff or multiple religions. That is the very definition of not being biased. The person who's being biased is the person that is sensitive when we pick India. So you're not sensitive when we talk about Pakistan, not about the United States, not about Iran. When it gets to India, you get butt hurt. That is being highly biased. We're not highly biased. You're the one who's being cartoonishly highly biased. And not only the fake news was not, I'm, I know we need to move on. I'm just going to, not only that it's not fake. It's, this is an event that actually happened, so you are lying. To we even I even said there are I didn't have to say this. I said there are worse countries. I when we covered news in India, we said this is happening worse in Pakistan. And you still say we are being highly biased. You're insane. You're a moron. You're not an oxymoron. You are a moron. Okay, we got another super chat. Thank you. Newman. <laughs> <laughs> Newman is just telling Oxymoron to shut up. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the super chat. And this is this is why you come here, okay? People don't support us financially and we yell at them and call them morons. Anyway, sorry, sorry. I know we need to move on. Uh, 